Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be discussing today is trigonometry and we are going to be deriving the law of science and we are going to show where the law of science actually comes from. So where this equation actually comes from. So the law of sines equation can be written two different ways, which is the same equation, just inverse of each other. So you can either have it as the sine of angle A over the side A, which is equal to the sine of angle B over the side of B, which is equal to the sine of angle C over the side of C. You could write it like that, or you could write it as the side of A over the sine of angle A is equal to side B over the sine of angle B, which is equal to side C over the sine of angle C. Both of these are the law of sines. Technically, the first one is the technical way it's written, but the other one is just as, just as good. So we're going to be uh, deriving this equation, and we're going to show how you do that and where it actually comes from by using this triangle down here. So all our angles for our triangles are going to be lowercase letters A, B, C, and our sides are going to be uppercase A, B, C. And I will do my best to distinguish between the uppercase C and the lowercase C because they look exactly the same. So step number one, what you want to do when you're given this type of triangle? Well, we are going to determine the height of this thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide it into two right triangles, one on the left side, one on the right side. And we are going to call this height capital H. So H is my height of my triangle. So now let's write the equations for the sines of angle B and the sine of angle C using our two right triangles right here. So the sine of angle B is going to be my opposite over my hypotenuse. So it's going to be my H over my hypotenuse C. Well, let's repeat the process for this side, which is the right right triangle. So we're going to have sine of angle C is equal to its opposite over hypotenuse, which is H over side B. All righty. So now let's rearrange this equation of sine B is equal to H over C, and let's solve for H. So that is essentially going to be my height is equal to side C times the sine of angle B. And what we're going to do is we are going to take this and we are going to plug it in for H right here. So when we plug it into H up here, what we get is we get the sine of angle C, which for some reason my little eyes aren't popping up here, is equal to C sine of B over side B. Okay, so now we can move the side of C and correlate it with the sine of angle C. And what we have is that we have the sine of C over side C is equal to the sine of angle B over side B. Oh, that's looking pretty familiar, doesn't it? It looks pretty, pretty familiar. All right, well, now we just have to work with side A. Well, how do we get side A in angle A? Well, what we are going to do is we are going to redraw our little H here. So instead of it going vertical, now we're going to split through angle C here. And I'm going to do my best to make this look like a right angle. Oh, that was just awful, but we're going to assume that's a right angle right there. So we would have two right triangles once again, and we're going to call this height H once again. So we're going to repeat the process for trying to find the sine of angle B and the sine of angle A. So what we have here, let me scroll just a little bit. So what we have here is that if we take the sine of little angle A, it's equal to its opposite over hypotenuse, which is H over B. And then the sine of little angle B is equal to its opposite over hypotenuse, which is H over A. So once again, let's rearrange and we'll rearrange this left one here in terms of the height H. So H is equal to B times the sine of angle A. And then we're going to take that and plug it in up here. So thus this portion right here becomes the sine of angle B 
is equal to side B times the sine of angle A all over side A. And just like before, let's move B over here to little angle B. So we would have the sine of little angle B over the side of B is equal to the sine of angle A over the side of A. Well, we have sine of C is over C is equal to sine of B over B, and the sine of B over B is equal to the sine of A. So what we can do is we can tack on this portion right here. Wow. And it would be the sine of A is equal, or sine of A over A is equal to the sine of B over B, which is equal to the sine of C over C. And that is the law of sines. And that's how you derive it. And that's where it comes from. So you just split a triangle into two right triangles, find the sine of each angle in there, and then repeat the process for the other side. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems of this variety, please check out other videos on our channel. Uh, also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.